All right, for the Raymator C frame, I'm using the Raymator C Cricut, and this is just this is it, just outside of its case. And then for the Banggood build, I'm using the Esheen TX 526. There's a couple problems here. Uh, for one, the Esheen VTX is RP SMA. It has a nipple on the inside, where I use SMA antennas, which have the nipple on them. So you can't use both together. You have a few options. Either buy RP SMA antennas, or you can use a RP SMA to SMA adapter, or you can remove this connector and put on a SMA connector. But actually, I don't use connectors on my VTXs at all, and this is something I do on every single one of my multi-rotors. These top plates, and both of them have it, these holes right here are made specifically for connectors like this. And you actually screw them into the top plate. And the reason I love doing this is because whenever you mount these VTXs to your top plate, and you've got your antenna sticking out the back, often, very often, whenever you crash, uh, that antenna because it bends it will actually break the SMA connector off of the VTX and usually when it breaks off it rips the pads off with it if the pads rip off then it's now trash if it doesn't rip the pads off then you can not actually do a repair to it but but more times than not it does rip the pads off making it trash and after losing about 10 video transmitters that way that's when I called it quits and I started putting these connectors in the top plates and I'll be showing you how to do both. But first up, swapping from RPSMA to SMA. Let's put this in our helping hands. I'm going to angle this up. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to leave it right there. I'll take some flux paste. Put it on both sides. Then take my hot air reworking station. Uh, I've got it set to 450 degrees and we're just gonna wait and after a while just every now and then keep pulling up on this and eventually it's just gonna slide off and there we go now just uh, wait some more and let it cool off after it's cooled off a little bit then take some solder wick like this I'm gonna squirt some of the solder paste or the flux paste on the wick. Take your soldering iron, melt it in a little bit, and we need to get all the solder off because the new connector won't go on with all the solder still, you know, in the way. Flip it to the other side. Do the same thing. Spray it off with flux cleaner. Damn it. Use a brush. Wiggle that brush around. Spray it again. And there you go. Now you're ready to put this new connector on. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to because I'm actually going to do this to both of them. Because on the Cricut frame, the video transmitter bolts into the frame, the length of my coax cable has to be exactly right, where it doesn't matter so much on the other frame. I'm going to take this connector and there's a pin right in the middle of it. So I will take my coax, I cut it a little bit longer than what I need, and just barely overlap the center. And then put my uh, razor blade right on the tip of this, and that's where I will make my cut. After that, make a cut right down the middle, and then this will just slide off. We only want the signal wire touching the pin on the inside of this, so I'm going to trim this back a little bit with my wire cutters. Then trim this back the same uh, thickness as this pin on the inside, or I should say length. So this gives you an idea of what it looks like. Then stick this inside of here. Make sure the signal wire is right over the pin. And then I just solder the shielding wire to this part and the signal wire to the pin on the inside. Then I'll put this inside of the top plate, hold the video transmitter right in place where it would normally bolt in place. Take a marker like this. And then I will just put a mark right where the edge of the case is. 
because I know the edge of the case is right here, that means I need to make my cut about right here. I cut this back a little bit. Instead of trimming the wires, I'm just going to push them to both sides. Give them a twist. Expose the signal wire. Tin the signal wire. Make sure you have solder on the video transmitter. And then solder everything in place just like that. Then reassemble it and pray that everything fits. If everything does fit, then you can take this white cap, put it inside of there, and then put the metal cap, put it inside, and screw it tight. Okay guys, now I'm done with both of them. This is what it looks like. Here we've got the Cricut and the ready-made RC frame. Like I said, it bolts in place. Nice and neat, not coming undone, and it, it's impossible to break this video transmitter with it mounted like this. And then for the e chain, got this one nice and short. Zip tied it to the top of the, well, zip tied it to the bottom of the top plate, and that's what that one looks like. So that's going to do it, and I'll see you in the next video.